Hey guys, this is the Faded Battle, and welcome to my Let's Play of Diablo 2. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, first, I want to mention that I will be playing both Diablo 2 and the expansion, Lord of Destruction. So I'll be playing the five acts that are included in the game, and I will be starting as, I will play as the Assassin class. So, uh, I, I would explain the game, but I'll probably leave something out, and I'll just give you the Wikipedia link, and you can read up on the game yourself, and I'll explain the game as we go, and, but if I leave anything out, you can look it up on the Wikipedia page. Okay, so let's get started. We'll pick single player, and I'm going to pick the Assassin class. The Assassin class is mostly a melee type of class, so it'll be highly melee based, but there are little tricks up her sleeve that she can utilize when she fights. Okay, so let's see, you gotta pick a name. I'm gonna pick I. I like to play as this name usually. Okay, so let's hit okay. All right, so. Good day. What's up? So we're here in town and there's a bunch of people you can talk to. I'm not gonna talk to everyone. Will you get away from me? There's a couple people you can talk to and I'm not gonna talk to everybody. I am going to let it, them read all of the quest related stuff. So for the first quest, we're gonna go over here to Akara. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. What's up? I welcome you, traveler, to our camp. But I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. Well, that's okay. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it. But she turned many of our sister roads against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Hmm. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. Well, that sucks. I implore you, stranger. Please help. I might. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. All time? Or just partial time? There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Oh, yeah? Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. Hmm. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. Okay. May the great eye watch over you. Okay, so that this is our first quest. I'm gonna hit Q here. So look for the den in the wilderness outside the rogue's camp. So that is our first quest. Uh, these things here, these are waypoints. They're basically portals to the different parts of the area. And uh, if you hit tab, there is a little map here that will go over top of your character. I'll be using this quite often. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so let's go outside. Let's look for this den of evil. Entering the blood more. They'll never see me coming. Die. Die. Come here. Thank you. So, I'm... I'm just going to run around for a little bit, gain some levels. Probably just gain one level. Come here. So, at the present time, I don't have any skills at the moment, but I will get them as I level. What's in here? Damage dagger. If you hold down alt, you can see what they dropped. Will rat die? Die! It's so annoying. Minor healing potion. Yes, there are healing potions. It's the main the main way of gaining your health back in the game. There are other ways of getting it back, which I'll explain a little later. All right, so I'm gonna follow. Oh, here we go. Here's the den of evil. Uh, I don't want to go in yet. I want to make level two first. Come here. What'd you drop? Crack throwing knife. At the beginning of the game, you're going to need as much gold as you can get for potions and scrolls and things like that. So pick up everything you can find at first. 
You could be a little more lenient as the game progresses. Only picking up the things that are valuable. Alright. One more. Should... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I made level two. So we can up upgrade our stats. And I'm going to need to look up a guide for what kind of assassin I want to go for. But at this present time, it's not that important. So I'm going to put two in the strength, two in the dexterity, and one in the vitality. And for skills, I'm going to be doing martial art skills mostly. And I'm going to dip into shadow disciplines a little later. But for right now, let's see. Phoenix Strike. All right, so I want to get Tiger Strike first. And now we can use that. And now this is the right click. So whenever you right click, you'll use this move. And this is the left click, regular attack. Okay, so let's go into Den of Evil. We gotta kill every monster in here. Kill the shamans, because they revive the other fallen. Buckler, mana potion, give me that. I kill you. Okay. So yeah, the map's gonna be real helpful when I look around for monsters. Die. Die, 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 die. Come here. Okay, those those orbs that are floating around me, they're like like combo points, I guess. Uh, when you use the uh, special attack on, in my right click, you'll build up these combo points. And then if you attack regularly again, you'll get a bonus to the amount of power that is dealt. So that's pretty cool. That's like the, uh, the main, um, the main kind of attack for the assassin. Okay. Come here! Haha. -ha. Boom! Now, of course, these, these skills, they take up mana. Ooh! I got a yellow. A yellow is, I think they call it a rare? Maybe? I can't remember. But, yeah. Uh, for the, those special colored ones, they need to be identified. They come as unidentified at first. So I gotta use a scroll of identify to know what it is. Kill the shamans. Kill the shamans, kill the shamans. Okay, I made level three. I don't feel like dealing with it at the moment. Let me just kill all these guys first. Alright. Um, that's all I need for now. Let's look around some more. Oh, another yellow. I'm getting really lucky. These will sell for a lot of money. Because I, I won't need them. Javelin? Javelins aren't used by assassins, so I won't need it. Die. For this particular quest, you have to kill everything in the dungeon. This isn't so for many of the other quests. Um, which else did he revive? Okay. Thought I heard him revive twice. Okay. Well, let's keep looking. Give me your gold. Let's look over here. Die, 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 die. Okay. Alright, here's the, uh, the, like, I guess you can call him the boss of the level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Use a potion. Guess I'll kill everything around him first. He's slow. He'll be alright. Alright, I'll kill him now. And there he goes. Okay, let... Hmm. I'm full. I don't need this buckler. I do want this leather armor. It might be useful. I don't need the hand axe. Uh, gold. I don't feel like picking it all up. I am going to get very lazy in this LP, I'll tell you that. I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like getting that. Oh, and that's everyone. I guess I'll go pick the stuff up now. I got a little extra time. Let's see.
the rogue's test is done. Yes, it is. I'm overburdened. Okay, that's everything. Um, Alright, so I'll show you the town portal. So we got the scroll town portal. If we right click it, it'll make a portal that'll go back to town. Now we can go talk to our car for our reward. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust. And may yet restore my faith in humanity. Cool. Your reward is training in the skill of your choice. Okay, so we get a free skill for completing that quest. It's pretty cool. Alright, so that quest is completed. Now for the next quest, I'm going to go activate it right now. Talk to Kesha over here. She's like the rogue leader. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hub. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. Yeah, I am. But know this. Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. Okay. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. All right. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Oh, really? Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Blood Raven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andario. Oh shit. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. Okay, I'm not like Link or Mario or anything. I can't just like be like, you gotta help us, and then I do it. I need some reward, buddy. Okay, so we gotta look for Blood Raven in the burial grounds next to the cold plains. It's a little further out, so we're gonna have to do some more traveling. Uh, but I'll leave that for next time, and uh, we'll stop here. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and be sure to tune in next time. We're gonna move on to the next quest. I'll see you then. Have a good day, everybody.